So for some reason lately, there's been a lot of talk about superheroes. I guess it's because of Watchmen coming out, or I don't know. And it's got me thinking a lot about it. Admittedly, I don't know a lot about superheroes. But I do have two younger brothers, which I think more than qualifies me to talk about them. So you may disagree here, but in my opinion, there are the three basic superheroes. Spider-Man, Superman, and Batman. Now, I'm not saying that they have any amazing ability compared to some other superpowers one could have, but those are the basic three top dogs of superheroes. I think Spider-Man is my favorite. I mean, shooting webs out your wrists isn't the best superpower, but I know I sure as hell couldn't do it. And it isn't like Batman or Superman have anything on him. Sure, it'd be much more accurate if Spider-Man were to shoot webs out his butt, but given that the story is for children, I think we can leave some room for a creative freedom with the character. Side note, how would one come to discover they had such an ability? I mean, I wouldn't want to explain to Aunt May how I knocked over a lamp with my wrists, and that would be slightly more awkward. But no matter how inaccurate Spider-Man's powers may be, at least they're, you know, actual superpowers. Batman isn't even super. He's just rich. Batman is like the super equivalent of Donald Trump. He's smart, he's rich, and no one quite understands why he's famous. Superman isn't much better, though. What, he's strong and he can fly? Hooray for him, so is a really buff pilot. Give him tights and make a franchise out of that. So yeah, boy superheroes kind of fail. I think the girl superhero is a severely underutilized character. Girl superheroes would so own... We could have PMS woman who could totally complain at you until the supervillain did anything she wanted you to. Or the leg wax lady. Nothing is scarier than leg wax. Try facing her. Yeah, that's all the funny I've got in me today. Video done. Word.